I could never have imagined my children working with me. Seth never wanted to be a pawnbroker, but once he got involved, he was hooked like I was. What's the truth? So to be honest, that's what we're trying to do with our show and like help uh, change the perception of pawn shops. Every person that comes in, uh, we take their ID, take their thumb thumbprint, and then send it to the police within 24 hours. Okay. So is we're that very, law or is yeah, that something you no, choose to do? It's a do. highly regulated industry. Oh, okay. So by and large, that's what most pawn shops are supposed to do. So we're very regulated. They well, they get mad when you tell them something's fake. Well, well you're clearly not going to accept something well, that... When we say no, it's final. And so when nobody, when somebody doesn't have money, I mean, when we yeah. say no, what are they going to do? So obviously there's some sort of upset, yeah. desperation that happens. Yeah. And ultimately, we're there to satisfy most people that come in the store. And when we can't sure. do it, we what just is, can't do it. What What's the most outside? unusual thing you guys have ever seen come so through the door? For me, personally, I'm a huge sports fanatic. So a customer came in with a 1968 uh, Detroit Tigers World Series ring. So to me, you know, it piqued my curiosity. I gave him a loan on the merchandise. He came back to pick it up. Most people pick their things up, or most people don't? So I ask people, how many things come back to pick up their stuff? I don't know, five, fifty, fifty. Most people will even say lower than that. We look at about national average is eighty-five percent. Come back yeah. and get their items. Yeah, back. yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's a happy ending. Yeah, for it's a happy yeah. ending.